we're going to open and fix another MacBook. This MacBook is a 12-inch MacBook, one of my least favorite of all the MacBooks, but one of Paul's favorite of all the MacBooks. Ugh. The most common issue with this MacBook is that the CPU will be dead. It'll take standard startup voltage, it'll boot up with no video, no chime, no nothing. So this looks like it takes 0.03 amps. This is an A1534. It has no liquid damage. It has no physical damage. Hi, Paul. Oh, I don't want to work on this. <laughs> I hate this machine. This is not going to be fixable. taking 0 0.03 amps, spiking to 0 0.064. Excuse me. <sighs> Let's open up the board view for this piece of crap little iPhone of a computer. All right, where's my list of power rails? First, we start with our PP bus G3 hot. Now, Sarah, how do you say PP bus G3 hot in Swedish? Okay, 8.62 volts. Next up. PP3P3 underscore G3 hot. 3.3. That I know is present, this thing here, because PP3V3 R3V0 is needed for us to get voltage in the charger. PPVRTC underscore G3 hot. Three point three. PP five E G3 hot LDO. Let's check this one. PP bus G3 Lejumin. Lejumin, you say? Lejumin. Lejamin. Okay. Five volts. PB5 ES4. Let's check for that. 0 0.09 to 0. Point. Oh, it's boot looping. What do you know? What creates PP5ES4? Oh, there's no previous. Paul Daniels is an evil man because he created, he has the software for the PDF reading and has next for find but no previous. What kind of evil serial killer like sociopathic individual would create software like this? So U7600 appears to be the PMIC. Is there a short on this rail? 140 ohms. <laughs> that seems kind of on the low side here. But it also seems too high that I'm actually... Yeah, it's going over a kilo. Ohm. Lame. Never going to find that short. You should learn some Swedish. If only I had a teacher. Vad svensk det blav har plotskit. What the hell did I say there? All right, are there any ra anything here that looks nasty that could be causing this? Anything that looks obviously short-circuited? Okay, now we're going to see if there's a short circuit on any particular rail, so we're just going to go down the list, see if any have a low resistance that I wouldn't be expecting. TP5 ESO, TP5 ESO is... Over here, 
0.8 ohms. Okay, see, this is a short circuit that we have to find. So, what we had was boot looping, where it was turning on, off, on, off. It was taking 0 0.06 amps and then 0 0.03 and going on and off, on and off. My PP5 ES4 rail was shooting up to 5 and then going down very quickly. So, simply going down the list of rails, we, st we went down a PP5 ESO, and over here, we have a short circuit to ground, which is straight up 0 0.08 ohms. That is an obvious short circuit to ground. That does need to be addressed. So we are going to do that now. Go. We're just going to inject something into this board. We're going to clip ground to ground. Manflu United. Thank you for the multiple sex. And we're going to take this. All right. So we're going to put some voltage into this board and see what gets warm. This one I'm likely going to want my thermal cam for, so it'll be worth getting up to get to it. Okay, we got the thermal camera here, but it's getting hot. Tell me the CPU is what's getting hot here. It's not the CPU. This thing doesn't have a zoom feature, so I don't think I'm going to be able to find it particularly easily. All right, so it's whatever is under the mouse. So I'm going to take my tweezer and... Shit, the mouse moved. Mofo. It's okay. I can't tell. This thermal camera is too low resolution. 900 bucks. This thing's too fucking low resolution. $900 thermal cam, and I'm going to resort to alcohol because it, it works better in my eyes because it works better. So it's something down here in this corner, right? Let's see. What could it be? All right, capacitor. It's this guy. This little capacitor right here has got to go. But we can't heat the CPU. So I'm going to cover the CPU with this little metal rubbery spudger thingy. And that cap's going to go. And the cap's starting to get a little malformed, so yeah, it's you. Whoa, check that out. Is that an angry cap or what? Holy moly, look at that. Just split into pieces.
Uh oh. Paul, help! I did something incredibly stupid. Try and remove that capacitor and I. F what did you try to do? I removed the capacitor and I did this. Oh. Oh, a little BGA? Please help. I finally found an A1534 that's not dead CPU. Help, help! So Paul is going to save me since I screwed something up like an idiot. Thank God for Paul. Thank God for people like Paul exist. Hmm. Paul said that the auto mechanicing sucked. I can't imagine this sucks less. This sucks less. Duke is excited to start fixing Teslas and all those things. He's nuts. He said it's going to be fun. It sucks when the company is providing you parts and ser service information. Never mind Tesla, who is fighting with you against service parts and information. What's the part that sucks? Not having any parts. It's, it's just as bad as servicing Apple. Yeah, but what sucks about when they do provide you the parts and the information? The, the job itself sucks. It's, it's extremely physical. It's very hard on your body. What about the customers? Aren't they nicer than our customers? No, they're just as bad. They're just as blaming. <gasps> that was sexy. I was really expecting that to explode everywhere. Weren't you? A little bit? A little bit. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's a nice ball. Dream believer. Why do I have the monkey stuck in my head? Dream believer. Damn it. I did not jessed the pads. I jessed the pads. Oh, you jessed them. What do, what do you mean when you say jessa exactly? I wicked them. Oh, you mean to wick the pads because jessa typically wicks the pads before putting stuff on the board, right? Especially a little micro BGA. Oh, I love wicking little micro BGAs like that. Do you think Jess is watching right now? Let's see if this turns on, and if it does, we're going to do a little bit of shopping for a new p computer. And then I'm going to buy the memory that you guys suggest. And look, it looks like it's probably turning on. But one way to find out is to plug it in and see if we get a picture. This would mean that the touch bar that I chose was an easy one. The 12-inch I chose was an easy one. Plug in. Show me an Apple logo. Taking 0.5 amps with no battery plugged in, which is a good sign. Oh, an Apple logo. An Apple logo! You work! Fixed! Have you run any repairs made impossible by T2 chip? Not yet, because I haven't worked on any of them yet. It works! It's fixed! This MacBook! 
has been fixed. In A1534. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So we removed the short on PP5ESO. We found the short by going through the list of Powell Rails. I noticed that PP5ES4 was going up, down, up, down, up, down. So when you're getting boot looping like that, or that kind of boot cycling, what I like to do is I like to check every single Powell Rail. And after checking every single Powell Rail, we found that one of them had a 0. Point something ohm short to ground, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohm. And when we found it, thanks to the thermal cam and injecting a little bit of voltage, we removed it, and now the MacBook is fixed. Oh, yeah. Fixed MacBook. MacBook! Look at that. We found the short. We fixed the short. The MacBook works. The MacBook works. Beautiful MacBook. On to the next repair. And thank you all for watching.